Well, trying to clear out the space for the fridge now. And then I gotta build a subfloor. And that's gonna be probably two inches, two and a half inches lower than where the last one was. Got rid of these giant clumps, clumps of silicone. that we're holding this clump of wires together. I gotta take off this 110 outlet and uh, cap off the wires because there's an outlet on the outside that I that won't work unless that thing is uh, still connected. So it's still got to be a circuit. Or actually, no, this is the dead end. So I can check and see if that outlet's going to work. But I think the plan is going to work for just tucking this up into the side here. I think that's going to be fine. Should go, should go just fine. It's like 90 degrees today here, and boy, it, it is just miserable to work in here today. Because of the, the skirts for the sides of the fridge, that the retaining skirts, I'm going to have to cut just a little bit of this off, so it'll, and this one down here too, this is the this is the backing for the for the arm or uh, the handle. So I got to cut just a, the corner of it off. But yeah, it's going better than I thought it was going to go. It's going to be easier than I thought. I've got uh, the microwave all framed in with with uh, the pieces of Formica that I took out of the closet and now the light switch or the switch for the hot water heater is down the middle is neutral and the up is the microwave so I got that all set in and it's turning out okay I've got the microwave firmly mounted and this area is turning out nicely. I've even got this little corner piece. Oh, it's like, oh, it's just miserable in here. It's hot, hotter than I can work, or hotter than, I can't work in here, it's too hot. Okay. So I put the wire on the side and tucked it in down low and instead of rewiring this whole thing right now I'm going to try out the, the wire that's already provided. I'm thinking this is a pretty, this is a pretty old motorhome and I think the refrigerator was hooked up to a 30 amp fuse or a 20 amp fuse. The fuse inside of the the box shows it's. Or I'm sorry, the the. Uh, I'm sure it's going to cause light flickering, but we'll see what happens. So, if I really need to, it's a fairly easy process to come back and run a separate wire straight to the battery. <clears throat> but we're going to give a shot and see. Now I just have to put in some subfloor and then cut this across the whole length of the bottom and see what happens from there. But uh, yeah. 
So I'm going to cut it here and pick it up when I'm putting the refrigerator in, or pick it up when I've got the subfloor set. Well, I built the subfloor. I forgot to start taking video again. Um, as I was building all this subfloor, there's not a space for this light anymore. You can kind of see the half of the hole. It will cover it with my finger a little bit. That's the hole for the for the light, so I can't do anything about that. Um, <laughs> this fridge fits perfectly. Like, couldn't have couldn't have planned it any better. I did have to cut the uh, I did have to cut that bottom piece of the floor out, and. I had to take the doors off to get it past the narrow hallway thing here. Um, but hold on, you can see. Well, put this down here. I think you right here. Now I've got to trim. Now I've got to trim this little section out because as it's trying to slide in, that little piece is holding it there. So I'll probably just get out my little flat saw and give it a quick, uh, quick buzz. But I don't think I'm gonna put. I don't think this is going to go back on it because that's just, it's just taller, it gets in the way even more. So I'll probably just leave that part off. But the fridge is in and I'll be back in just a minute after I buzz it. Okay, the fridge fits nicely. So. The last thing that I have left to do, and because of the age of this and the how big the box is, um, the 
parts, the side skirts that the manufacturer sent, um, they're way too big. They would go past the wall um, and they would stick out about a half inch all the way around. Um, and so what I find that I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go to the store and get some aluminum and just some little angle iron or angle aluminum and I have to get it to that hole there so that's what three quarters of an inch so I'm gonna have to get some aluminum and put it in all the way around and then paint it well paint it black before but it's gonna be painted black and I'll just have it be black all the way around I don't think it would look right if it was just aluminum but the fridge is finally in it is gonna be so strange not having a bare ugly spot there anymore <laughs> bought this trailer or I bought this motorhome with no fridge in it at all and it's been it's been about a year since I got it and now I'm finally getting a refrigerator I was kind of surprised too the doors open all the way with almost no room left over but you know that's okay that's just fine um yeah it's a good size refrigerator and all dc so i'll get it wired up and i'll tell you whether or not the lights flicker okay the refrigerator is in and running. It's pretty quiet. It's not cold yet, but it's blowing cold air. And the lights, I don't know if you can tell, the lights flicker or you know even just the one light for now but it still flickers and so I have to I have to get my batteries built one there one there and get the battery box set up with the solar power running to it I'm gonna do that tomorrow but I'm gonna get that battery put in and get the other one pulled up from the other spot and then I think what I'm gonna do is run it this way through the wall and then down through the floor and I'm gonna take I'm going to run it just underneath that silver strip there, right up into the battery compartment, or I mean the back of the refrigerator compartment. I don't know if you're... This is pretty, pretty clean in here now. So here's the back of the refrigerator. This is the original wiring. And while it does work for what I need it to do, makes the lights flicker. And that's gonna be annoying. And I don't wanna deal with that. So I'm gonna put it on its own fuse and its own, its own wire. But it should be fairly easy to do. And I will uh, upload this video before I do that so that you guys can see the Furion 
12 volt refrigerator installed in a 1984 Revcon Duke 28. And I still haven't put the trim on that yet, but it's mounted in there. I gotta get this switch uh, fastened in there and, and labeled. So this is an interesting switch. It's got two selections. It's got one, if when you go up with it, it turns on the microwave. And back in the middle, microwave is off. But when you go on the lower end, it turns on, there you go, it turns on the hot water heater. And I wired that up to be that way. Um, just so that it's clear and it's easy to use. And so the middle is, is off. But I've got to, what I'm just, I'm just gonna get my label maker out and um, I'm gonna label, you know, micro up for microwave, down for water heater, and middle is off. So that'll be clear for anybody who who comes in here. This fridge seems to be working pretty good. I can hear the condenser going. It's got kind of a nice little LED blue light kind of thing going on in there too. It's pretty nice. Pretty, I'm pretty happy with the purchase here. I gotta say, my only my only point of disapproval is that the uh, aside from the when I ordered the fridge, I had to call the company again and get them to send the second package for the uh, the angle pieces that go on the uh, on the side uh, and you know all the way around the fridge um, but it ended up being that they were just huge anyway so now I have to go get some and I'm not sure what I'm gonna get yet but I'll I'll get something and yeah so when it got here I was kind of disappointed with what they sent but it fits perfectly it's gonna be a nice little unit I think and uh, I'm happy with it nice little piece of um, newer technology going in an old retro motorhome next video I shoot <laughs> all of this junk should be cleaned up and out of here uh, I gotta get cleaned up I'm just it's it's like an oven in this place right now so I'm gonna going to avoid cleaning it up for now but yeah. Okay, I'm going to cut this and upload it.